Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Um, it is still ticking all the boxes, still holding here the um, amazing um, reversal it did here. Yeah. Now it did hold the target area, it did hold the 80 cent level that was important. Um, my opinion is that here on this way to the upside from the low at 69 cents, we are creating either a diagonal pattern or an impulse. Impulse would be better, would be more, would give us a bit more confidence. It can be an impulse at the moment. It doesn't need to be di a diagonal. We haven't got any overlap between waves one and, and four. Um, and I think it can still push a fifth wave in um, before we get the third wave done, right? Um, which means, well, with this fifth wave, it can push a third wave um, in really. And you know, I'm looking at something around maybe 87, 88 cents, yeah, maybe 89 to complete that third wave. And I think, um, yeah, I think this would be ideal here for Matic. And uh, at the moment, it's ticking all the boxes. So it is, uh, it was quite a, a deep wave for, but it was still in the reversal box. If we look at the FIPS, you can see that. Matic retraced all the way to the 38.2% FIP level, 81 cents. It dropped a little bit below that, which gave me a bit of a concern, but um, no, it did hold it and it's on its way up. So at the moment it just means observing for me. Um, I think it's got good chances to hold it, but the next test will be here um, to break out of this channel. Okay, so this is important. Breaking out of the channel now needs to happen, plus breaking the high of the wave three that is basically in line with breaking out of the channel that is at 33, uh, no, where are we? Um, that's at 30, basically 38, uh, sorry, 85 cents. And then ideally we also break above the wave B high at 86. Now it could very well be that we only put a double top in here. Um, for the third wave. The reason is that this will be resistance, this descending trend line. We have the wave three at basically 85 cents, so pushing a bit higher to reach the wave B high would give us a valid wave five. Um, and that would complete a wave three anyway, only in blue, and then there will be a wave four down and a wave five up. At the latest, that however should push us above the channel, okay? So at the moment, this is all fine. What um, is uh, still something to mention, that of course there is no guarantee we'll put a five in here. If we, we can still lose the 80 cent level, and if we lose the 80 cent level, then that wouldn't be anything bearish, but it would mean we only have basically, yeah, here three waves up. It's not a complete five wave pattern to the upside. And it means that we probably only have this corrective wave pattern. I mentioned that yesterday, um, a very complex one, W, X, Y, X, Z, or X, Z. Um, and then we would have to say that the wave two was only finished here. There's no way of currently saying wave two is definitely finished or not. Um, we have really only touched that reversal area or came into it a little bit, a um, few fractions of a cent, but we haven't really maxed it out or have, have come even into the middle of it. So this is very much possible that we still come down in one more corrective wave. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be in any way bearish. It would just mean that the entire correction here of the wave two takes a little bit longer before we then eventually move up in a third wave that could take us to around whatever, 170, 180. Yeah, and that's my quick update about Polygon Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.